10th all-time meeting between these two sides. Tampa Bay 2-1 winners back on September 2nd at historic Al Lang Field. And play is underway. Aaron Gian, their stout midfielder. Forrest Lasso is in uniform, but we don't expect to see much of him tonight. Jake Armin. And then due to visa issues, he's been back in England for the last four. Yeah, he's got the job till the end of the season, and I think it'll basically be how well they do in the playoffs, but they're going to do well defensively here. Here's Merrill cutting towards the 18. Weak left-footed shot, and Connor Sparrow. Eight. Tampa Bay pressuring. Robin Lappert back in the starting lineup. Connor McGlynn is always there. Well, and that goes against something there. Oh, here's a turnover. Amo taken down is Sadie. Ekra takes him down, and that's a yellow. Please join us in thanking the founding partner, the Hartford, for educating children about fire safety with their Junior Fire Marshal program. Visit JuniorFireMarshal.com to learn more. Is John Ponziani? Oh, I have that all set. Oh. I have the Ponziani tribute. Oh, he's still with us. Well, yes, but <laughs> congratulations. Here's a shot, and a goal from deep. Lewis Hilton. Almost looked like he caught Joe Rice by surprise. First goal of the year for Hilton. And once again, Mark, Hartford falls behind at home. Oh, her own goal for Joe Rice. And that sums up Hartford's season. Poor Joe didn't know anything about it whatsoever. And the strike, as accurate as it could be, without going in the back of the net, had a helping hand, helping back, and poor Joe Okay, let's go and get a second rather than, oh no, what do we do now? Because they've, they've looked like nervous kittens at times with a lead. Here's Amo, 25 yards out. Gives to Sadie in the box. He shoots and he scores! Offside. Now the flag is up. Flag is up. And Hartford is furious. Ooh. Omid Namazi running down the touchline to confront the official. But this, this touch right here by the defender is an inadvertent touch which I probably agree with, because it's not a deliberate play on Well, he's in trouble for that. He'll pick up at least a yellow. You can't do that. You can't leave your technical area like that. We need to see this again, because it's a belated flag, and that is after the two were communicating. It's hit him on the side of the leg. I think that's the correct call. Here's a counter. In the box, it's Williams. He shoots, it's blocked. Rebound, score! Jennings with the initial shot, Williams with the rebound, and in the 27th minute, it's 2-0 in favor of Tampa Bay. In 60 That's Jennings. Left-footed shot is blocked. Oh, it's an Will own goal. It's, it's an another own goal. own goal. Is that it's Macangila? Wow. It's a good save by Joe Rice, and then sliding in to try and clear it, Beverly Mack and Gila. It's controversial because a touch on the ball by the defender can mean that players reset. Here's another chance. Here's Hartford. Here's Mack and Gila. Centers it. Shot is saved. Sparrow parries it over the back wall. Again, they're, they're good middle to front so far, Hartford coming forward. They've been unfortunate at the back. That's a good save from the goalkeeper. But the Tampa Bay do not fall into that category. I was going to say, as a play-by-play -play man in your own right, an outstanding one, you can certainly appreciate the... Oh. <laughs> Love these uniforms from Tampa Bay. Barrera, Lewis in the middle, approaches the 18, plays it to Amo in the box, right into the chest of Sparrow, who would come off the line. Good anticipation by the keeper. Connor Sparrow. That's why I think Hartford's still got a chance in this game. Now, there's not much a goalkeeper can do there with the proximity and the pace that that had, and Hartford have done well doing that this season, though, haven't they? Yes, far too often. And, and that's one of the reasons why Tampa Bay is giving Hartford this possession, because they know that there's likely to be a mistake at the end and a giveaway of possession like that. Amo tries to get it to say D. It's taken away. That's a card. That's going to be a card on the far side. Connor McGlynn, I believe. Plays it across to Lewis, settles, chips back for Amo on the run. 
Keeper comes out, but the ball goes by him. Over the goal line, it'll be a goal kick. And we'll have subs for Hartford. What do we reckon? Here in the 58th minute. Who's coming off? As you get a look at it, yeah, Logue climbed the back. and He's lucky he didn't get hurt. Nice somersault. Last year, nine goals, one assist for Ariel. Ecker goes down to Bruna. Call for the foul, two players down. Is Bruna gonna get a card or Cabato? Kembo. Kembo. The end of stoppage time. And another disappointing result for Hartford. Sadie plays it ahead to Amo. Shot is blocked by Sparrow. Lewis, rebound blocked by Dennis. Rito, chips into the box. Headed up in the air. Edwards looking for a handball. It was not called. And slowly up the near sideline is Ariel Martinez. Encounters De Bruna, who's half his age. No, really, he is. And it's played upfield. Long ball to LaCava, the new Milford native. 1v1 with Cabato, brings it into the box. Puts it on goal right into the midsection of Joe Rice. Second shot on target. Tonight, not just in the half, tonight. Here's Rito on the counter. Tries to beat a double team. That's not happening. It's taken away by Connor Antley, and we're just waiting for the referee's whistle to signal the end. Yeah, Rito's hurt. Yeah, Rito laying down in the offensive end. That is the match, and the question for Hartford is the condition of Edgardo Rito. But for Hartford, a disappointing night at home again. 